Occupy Wall Street protesters are planning another global rally later this week ahead of the G20 summit to demand world leaders impose a Robin Hood tax on financial transactions. The movement against economic inequality that started in the lower Manhattan has gained widespread support around the globe. But it's in New York that peaceful protests have seen most arrests, as well as allegations of police heavy-handedness. Artis Marino Portnaya has more. Six weeks into the Occupy movement, nearly 1,000 unarmed activists have been arrested in New York City. Thrown to the ground, beaten, netted like flies, and pepper sprayed. The NYPD's tactics have been harshly criticized. Yet the most profound and public condemnation recently came from U.S. Marine Sergeant Shamar Thomas while defending demonstrators in Times Square. Why are you doing this to our people? I've been in Iraq 14 months for my people. You come over here and hurt them. They don't have guns. Why are you hurting these people? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Why do you sleep at night? There is no the lone man that stood up to dozens of New York cops comes from a family of honor. My stepfather, he, was, uh, he went to Afghanistan in uh, 2006. Me and my mother were actually in Iraq at the same time. Sergeant Thomas completed two tours in Iraq before returning to his homeland, where he now aligns himself with the activists he says are being targeted by aggressive authority in uniform. I haven't seen an NYPD um, uh, take on a person one on one. It's always a few of them, you know, three, four, five of them on one person. They're your side. These aren't, you know, uh, protesters my size. This is police brutality, hands down. The 25-year-old war vet says it's come to a point where Iraqi activists are treated with more respect and humility than their American counterparts. He recalls an incident when hundreds of Iraqis got violent with U.S. soldiers. A few people started throwing rocks and everybody kind of started throwing rocks. And we actually had a Marine get hit in the face. He was on the back of a truck. Mm -hmm. But after that, you know, the people were free to go. You know what I mean? We didn't arrest anybody. We didn't go beat up on anybody. So to see the police officers doing this to unarmed civilians in our own country was just, it was, you know, a st like I, I was amazed, like I was in shock. Visiting the protesters he stood proudly to defend, Sergeant Thomas receives something of a hero's welcome in Zuccotti Park. Can I shake your hand? Yes. How you doing? Wow. God bless Thank you. you. Really? Yeah. Now we can hug. Gestures of appreciation towards the Marine that completed combat in Baghdad, but just began his battle against police brutality here at home. Sergeant Thomas's public lashing of the NYPD has reportedly inspired the birth of a new group called Occupy Marines. It calls on U.S. veterans of all military branches to join the anti-Wall Street protests. And with roughly 40,000 soldiers coming back from Iraq by the year's end, this international grassroots movement may grow even mightier. Marina Pornaya, RT, New York.